Hi, I'm Evan Shortridge, and for my inquiry project, I did Angus cattle ranching. I learned many things in this experience. My mentor, Richard Bergman, was always there to look out for me and make sure I was learning how not to and how to get things done. So, let's begin. First, I'll show you some pictures of my experiences with cattle ranching. On the first day with my uncle, Richard, we went out on a drive to check on some cattle. Here's some footage and pictures about what we did. Here's another thing. Did you know that cows eat their placentas or afterbirths after birth? It helps return the nutrients lost in birth to them. Now I'll show you some pictures from the cattle drive we went on in which we drove an entire herd of cattle five miles only using three horses and a dog. I can't show you everything that happened because as you know, it's hard to document an adventure when you're in it. Now I'll show you some pictures of the herd. Things aren't always fun and cheerful. Sometimes things can die, like baby calves, and it can be sad. Now I'll show you uh, an interview with me and my Uncle Richard. What made you want to become a cattle rancher? Well, my uh, I grew up back east near New York City and my parents were both from Colorado, and my sister married a guy whose dad had a ranch in Colorado. And so I came out a couple of summers in high school and worked on that ranch and really enjoyed doing it and stuff, so eventually I just moved out. That's cool. Uh, why, why do you prefer Angus cattle as your herd? Well, they tend to be... They're the most popular breed right now. And, uh, oh, the dark pigment is beneficial in high altitudes where you get snow and sun reflecting off the snow. With Herefords are light pigmented cattle. They get their udder sunburned and they won't let the calves nurse. And, uh, and then I think Angus cattle, uh, produce really good quality meat. Good. How important is the effort in your process? Mm, it's pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> lot in this experience, but most of all, I learned that a cow, if properly raised, should be free range, organic, should never eat antibiotics, should never have pesticides used on their food, 
and should be free with their baby cows after birth to nurse. I learned as well that you should never ever ever get behind a baby cow during the cow drive because that calf will hightail it. As soon as you get past him, he'll realize, oh, he's not looking at me anymore, which means I have a chance to escape. And they'll get they'll they'll get a running and they'll go all the way down the road and you it's hard to catch them, especially if it's narrow, because they're really good at maneuvering and get can get under fences and so I learned never to get behind a baby cow ever.